Hi, this is Louis Gossett Jr. I guess you know me by now. And uh, you're watching an interview, and it's from Buy Blacks magazine. Now, you should watch that because you owe it to yourself to discuss it with another. So put that in your daily regimen to buy black and listen to fools like me. <laughs>
She's quadrupled. She did all the music, all the acting, all the writing, and she's magnificently talented. And then you got Sergio, my Goomba. It was like a, it was like coming home, and the food and stuff. And they followed me around across America. So I realized they were serious. And when I let them talk, I wanted to do what Robert De Niro did in Awakenings, which Robert De Niro did in one take, from normal to Alzheimer's and back. Remember that scene you did at the table? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very jealous of it, being able to do that moment. I was very je jealous. I was able to uh, give birth to a baby in a major movie. They're able to carry to, to create a character from scratch from another planet. Those are wonderful challenges for writers. It has nothing to do with getting Oscars. It has to do with climbing a, a ladder, an artistic ladder. Yeah. Uh, you're an actress, aren't you? You should I, be. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a journalist. I've been in some movies playing a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I love the process, and I and I think about you know when when you hear executive producer, uh -huh. there's there's a big hat. Did you say that Hollywood has no choice? It's happening. There is this growth happening, and there is space now being made for black uh, artists, and it's being made for them and made by them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. And it's just, there's no choice, but there's intelligence. So they know somewhere along the line, especially their children, that we can't do without one another. It's going to take all of us to save all of us. So I see it in sports, I see it in movies. Mm -hmm. I see it in, in, in business. Yes. Uh, and, and people like seeing you on, on camera rather than you standing behind somebody else. Yes. You can go yes. as far as you want to go. What a Thank wonderful you. thing to still be alive to see. I'm Thank very you. proud of seeing people like yourself. Thank and you. Actresses I, and actors. Exactly. I'm very glad to be here. I don't want what you to have, but I'm very proud to be here to witness yes. something that I never thought I'd ever win. I'm so, very proud to witness all of your accomplishments, you know, and 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 uh, yeah. we have now started black black folk has started to enter into that realm of executive producing, of starting their own production companies, and this is a uh, this is a field that I think where you can you can see a lot of change. Stories can be you can be responsible for what you put on the screen now. Right, right, one hundred percent responsible. So even Roots was a uh, eighty five percent responsible. The other fifteen percent was a bunch of. And uh, we're, we're getting there. We're all getting there. It's so beautiful to still be here and witness that e emergence. And it's, it's nonviolent. It's love. It's just, yeah, it's an expansion. It's a natural it's an expansion. expansion. After a word, expansion. There you Absolutely. go. Did you think, uh, Mr. Gossett, that terrible time way back when, when you were basic, you were handcuffed to a pole by a the Beverly tree, Hills a palm tree. for yeah, how many hours? Tree. Did you? Three hours. For three hours, I mean, yeah. it must have been the most humiliating and infuriating experience. Um, if you can just talk to that, and did you ever think that here you would be with an Academy Award, with so many Emmys, and a recent Emmy nomination, and uh, really, I, I, I say, a cultural and artistic powerhouse now? Well, I... I keep thinking about that, people. It's almost that balancing. Low self-esteem at that age that a grown person can go through. Right across the street was the hotel. And uh, so that was the end of, uh, uh, because I had no idea, I had not uh, seen racism. I went to the south, I went to the farms, grew the watermelon, came back strong as an ox. And my friends sent for me in California, those same people I grew up with. The William Morris Agency, Lou Wasserman. So they gave me limousines. And I'm feeling wonderful. And I go get a car, the rental car. And the rental car was a Ford Fairlane Galaxy 500, which is a hard top convertible. And it was egg white with red interior. And I put Sam Cooke on as loud as I possibly could be. Because I love me some Sam Cooke. It took four and a half hours to get out of Hollywood. Because I met every policeman. I said, ah, these are cops. There they are. Okay, let me just enjoy them. So I enjoyed them. I was a little tired. By the time I got to the hotel, I went to the hotel. And the, and the, uh, the, the manager of the hotel says, well, those are, those are uh, descendants of the people who work in the factories. 
And so, so they come from Mississippi and Texas and Oklahoma. You should expect that. Though. As a matter of fact, here's a map of some of the movie stars' homes. And then, you know, you've got the clock able to go there. And that's Merle, Merle Oberon had this castle, she from Europe. So within 45 minutes, I went to see Merle Oberon's castle. And they got pushed up against the fence, brought back, and they handcuffed me to a tree, hugging it for almost three hours. So now I have a chance to think. Maybe I should have played basketball. Maybe I made a decision. Maybe I, maybe I should have just been a bus driver. Maybe, maybe this is not what, you know. So they let me go. Uh, I told the, the hotel man, he told me, yeah, everything's okay. That, you know, you don't understand how to behave. I said, how are you supposed to behave? So I had to learn how to behave. I talked to my parents. My father says, I'll be right there. He's in Brooklyn. How's he going to be right there? Then I called my best friend, who was my agent, Ed Bondi. And uh, he said, what are you going to do? I said, well, I guess I'm going to go to work. He said, that's what I thought you were going to do. Get in your white car and get up there at 7 o'clock in the morning. Suck in your breath and do the best job that they've ever seen. Um, Mr. Gossett, what's, yes, what's next for you? I mean, you executive produced The Cuban. You just yep. got nominated for an Emmy, another mm -hmm. Emmy for The Watchmen, an incredible yep. series, and you played an incredible role in it. So what's coming up next? Well, if, uh, just uh, by the way, if you brothers and sisters see these tears, there's no weakness there. That's still yes. very much. So Thank now, you. what's in my mind is, uh, there's the new contract between the NAACP and CBS. Have you read the country, the headline? No, no. Oh, okay. Go back on the 20th Hollywood Reporter. I okay. mean, the, the head of NBC, the, the head of the NAACP, and this African American brother in CBS. Okay. I've made an, an enormous deal. And my mind goes, beep, beep, beep. Okay. What is the opposite? What, what to do? Okay. Um, we're losing a lot of our congressional black caucus men. There's uh, Lewis and Charlie Rangel still there, God rest his soul, and, and some others, Cummings and all those particular people. Um, let's put the television series together for one of them. I did the, uh, two movies with the same character called For Love of Olivia and To Dance with Olivia. Early politicians, contemporaries of those men who are, uh, should be retired now. I want to do the last series, almost like the Blue Bloods. He wants to retire and they won't let him. So he's got, he, he runs and he wins. Now he's in charge of all these committees and he's got the life, and life's terms. The president is in the opposite party. He's got the pros and cons. He's got a wife who's very sensitive and nervous. Uh, hopefully that's feeling for the Sewer Shard. And I won't be able to carry this series, but seven of us can. So the stories they can tell from a John Lewis or Andrew Young, what's happening behind their closed doors. This is a nice little message. Final question for you, because I know um, you're a busy man and that phone's going to be ringing off the hook with congratulations. You heard it, yeah. <laughs> I heard. Um, um, I just want to ask you if you can describe to me in a few sentences, if it's possible, your artistic career so far. How would you describe it? So who would have thought that somebody like me, this bald headed guy, this guy with Adam's apple who walked in at 19 years old in Hollywood and got handcuffed to a tree? <laughs> Look at that progress. So there's no such thing as impossible. So anything that happens to you, don't get upset. Just keep on going. If you go for a 10, you get a five. That's five more than you had when you started. Go for another 10. You deserve to be the best you can possibly be. You can't, don't let anything get in your way, including yourself. You're expected. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your wisdom and thank you for um, all that you've shown us. Thank you for the example that you've shown us. You've shown us that uh, you can be down, but not out. And you just Absolutely. Get it, it's, it's my job. It's my job. Started in Africa. I'm the elder. That's my job.